Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sonali and today we are starting a new vlog. It is Sunday and it is actually 7 a.m. I got ready super early because I'm actually going to go to brunch at 12, but before that I'm going to head to UT's campus because I'm going to do some um, filming for one of the sorority's recruitment videos. So got to get up and early, get that footage. I feel like I went a little bit dramatic on the makeup today. I was definitely trying to go for a more natural look, but I think the eyeshadow, you know, went a little crazy with it. I honestly just came outside for the lighting, but it's already so like hot and humid. I'm gonna go inside and pack my camera back up, make sure I have everything. I don't wanna forget anything important um, because we're doing mostly like interviews and um, a lot of stuff with the stabilizer. So I don't wanna forget like a mic or anything like that. So I'm gonna go pack up. <laughs> I got done filming and I think it went really well. Honestly, I'm just really happy to be like finally getting stuff done. Now I just pulled into the peach tortillas parking lot. I'm gonna meet my friend Allie for brunch and I'm really excited because at first she asked me and I was like, I don't think I can do it. Like I'll probably be filming all day, but I'm glad that we did filming in the morning so we can get it out of the way, get that done. And then I could have like the middle of the, my day to myself. Right now I'm actually on Burnett Road or Burnett Road. I don't know if you're from Austin. I know that there's like a specific way to say it I've heard. So comment down below, if you're from Austin, how do you say it if you wanna like sound like you've been here for a while, I guess. Um, is it Burnett or Burnett Road? Cause it reads to me like it would be Burnett, but I don't think so. I don't think that's the way, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just gonna fix myself up a little bit because I was sweating kind of a lot. We weren't even filming outside. I was just, you know, when you have that big ass stabilizer and you're like, you know, making sure the shot's perfect. I get a little bit nervous and also, you know, you just sweat. So I am using the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. Um, and I think I talked about it in one of my vlogs, but I did buy the jumbo one and it honestly isn't really that jumbo. It looks jumbo, but it, like, I feel like it's a normal chapstick, like a mount. Um, but I've been really liking this makes my lips just stay really moisturized and then I'm gonna use let's see what I have in my purse today <laughs> oh my god I also need to tell you guys my key story I don't know why but for some reason I've just been misplacing my keys like more than I've ever have in my whole entire life. Basically my car is a push to start, so I don't really need to have my key physically in my hand to like press the button to unlock it. So it's always in one of my bags, my either my purse or my camera bag. So I always know it's in one of those. And um, I think it was like before our staycation at the hotel proper, I, me and Ryan went on a walk like after one of my filming gigs so I met him there and so I put my key in my um, leggings like just like the waistband and so I couldn't find it the next day and I was like freaking out because I had somewhere to go um, so I used Ryan's car for that and so I've been using his car for a long time now um, and then I just found my key yesterday I think yeah it was yesterday it's funny because my mom called me and she was like maybe you should just, just like check your purse and like it was like while I was walking out my stairs so I was kind of like hot and bothered and like just irritated it at that moment because I didn't have like time to really look thoroughly and I was literally gonna tear up my whole apartment and just really look because getting a key programmed I called Cadillac and they said it was like $159 or something and I don't even know if that included the price to buy the key and I would have to get my car towed there so I don't even want to know how much that costs so I was just like I have to find this damn key like I'm not trying to pay that right now because I feel like every month it's just something that I have to like pay for that I didn't expect to I feel like it's always like my technology that like has issues so I was just like not this month it's not gonna be this month so I prayed to St. Anthony if you're Catholic you know he's he's the goat <laughs> and anyway so I was calling my mom I was on the phone with her and I was like honestly can I talk to you later like I just I want to eat like I'm just a little you know now is not the time and then I called her back like literally two minutes later because she was like just look through your purse and in my mind I was like I already did look through my purse I looked through all of my bags and then so I went to look through my purse before I ate and it was uh the key was in there it was just like under a receipt hiding from me and I was just like why'd you why'd you gotta do that to me I don't know 
So yes, I have my key back, but this morning it happened again. I was like, where the frick is my key? I went all the way down to my car with all of my video equipment and stuff. And then I was trying to open my car cause you know, it being in my purse, I would think it would just open. It didn't open. <laughs> so I had to bring all my video equipment back upstairs. I woke up Ryan cause I was so stressed because my lights were already in my car. So I had to get the lights. So I couldn't just take his car either way. And I ended up finding the key in a jacket pocket that I was wearing last night. So I really need to get better about that. I really do. Anyways, back to the fixing up. I'm gonna use Joseph Colors liquid lipstick in the color Quirk. This is a really pretty brown shade. And it's been one of my staple brown shades for a really, really long time. I would line my lips, but I don't have a lip liner right now. I also need to go to like a CVS and restock on some stuff. I like just got done with my eyebrow pencil and I kind of want to buy some more lip liners and all that stuff. It's currently 11.40. Allie said she would be here at 12. So I'm just going to chill, be on my phone, maybe like get some Instagram posts ready to go for like the week um, for my photo account and my personal account because I'm trying to get better to post on my photo account, but I'm having a really hard time coming up with captions because I'm like, this isn't my personal account. So I don't want to like be too personal on it. But then in a way I'm just like, you know what, I'll, I'm going to be personal because you know, people want to get to know the photographer anyways. So I'm kind of going back and forth with that, but the thought of making a caption, it just like really deters me from posting a lot. So I'm going to sit here for the next 20 minutes, just kind of get all my, um, ducks in a row. Just got to Peach Tortilla with Allie. Oh my god, it's super washed out. <laughs> Hi. And we're gonna eat some real good food today. Gonna get some really pretty pictures. I brought my good camera because I wanted to take some good pictures too. <laughs> done with brunch it was so good was so i was good. shocked by the presentation of all the food it was amazing you guys saw the videos like so pretty out of 10 yeah <laughs> ali was comparing it to her like australian brunches that yeah. she had so it's up there but my mask literally broke love that for me but i'm gonna head home and I don't know, probably take a nap. <laughs> I just got home and Ryan actually just left to get a haircut, but I think I'm gonna make a coffee. I just wanna keep up this momentum of getting shit done. I started to import all of the clips from this morning, so I think I'm gonna edit that, or honestly, I should probably edit my video because I might have talked about it in this vlog or was it my last vlog? I think it was my last vlog that I was, I just usually edit like the day of that it's supposed to go live and it's so stressful. So my goal is to start editing the day before or like days before because I just don't want that stress the day of. Another goal I have today is to clean up this apartment. It is like a pigsty because <laughs> we haven't really unpacked from uh, the staycation that we had. If you guys are interested in watching that vlog, I'll link it down below. Ryan actually invested into an espresso and I've honestly been really liking it um, and I'm trying to like make my perfect concoction which is like super unhealthy. I do like heavy whipping cream, then also the white mocha creamer. I'm gonna make the coffee and then put it in the fridge so I can have it for like when I'm really, really tired. I'm actually gonna go ahead and stick it in the freezer because I think I'm gonna want it pretty soon. All right, it's time to make my unhealthy coffee concoction. So I'm just gonna put this in my favorite mason jar cup. I'm like obsessed with this and I literally won't drink coffee if it's not in this. Sometimes I'll bring home my summer moon and like literally just dump it in this because I love it. So there's not much in here, which is good because then I don't have to like drink a lot, I guess. I honestly don't know how much I usually put in, but I think I do like a good amount of this. And this is the white chocolate mocha creamer from Starbucks. I think a subscriber maybe recommended that to me. I really like it. Now I'm just going to put the heavy whipping cream into the Nespresso frother. This frother actually came with um, the coffee machine, which was nice. So I just kinda do a good amount of that because this is what makes it that thick 
texture that I like. And this actually has a cold setting so it can keep it cold while it's frothing. All right, we have the heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna pour that straight in. It's pretty thick, just the way I like it. I was having like a, some issues with this stupid frother. It was not spinning, but I got it to spin, so all good. Have to have my glass straws. Mix it up a little bit. I did it pretty good on the first try. I feel like I don't need to add anything else. Yay! Before I drink any more of this, I need to go take my lactate pill because I'm lactose intolerant and I'd just rather not go through the repercussions of uh, drinking this. Ryan is with me on the vlog. I wanted to give y'all a one year update of living in Austin. It's actually been one year and one month, right? Yeah, I, I was meaning to do this video for a while now and we're just now getting to it. Obviously a lot of shit went down since my last update, which was our six month mark of living in Austin. And I will definitely link that video down below because it's gonna go way more in depth. This video is just gonna be kind of like a quick update, but COVID hit in March. So a lot of things changed here in Austin and just our experience, I guess. Um, and the first thing that happened was South by Southwest got canceled and I think it was like one of the biggest events that got canceled or what's it, like the, the first one? Thing in Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well obviously Austin lost a lot of money and I did too because I was actually going to um, photograph some of the events. I had a keynote I was supposed to give for- um, Oh yeah? yeah you were talking? For databases. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was really excited about that and I was honestly heartbroken to hear that I got canceled because I just wanted to see what all the hype was. I feel like it's one of those events that you hear about but you don't understand what it is until you go. So I wanted to experience it but I get why and like disclaimer, like I understand why this all happened and understand why, you know, they are taking the precautions needed but, you know, obviously it does suck. So since the last time we updated you guys, um, I had fallen in love and- We had fallen in now, love? What's up? Let me okay. finish the story. Right. Jeez, okay. <laughs> I had fallen in love with this taco truck that she refused to try. And then for the last two months, I think she ate it like twice, three times a week. Yeah, and literally. I was yeah. like, okay, I give up on cooking because we have this amazing taco truck it's right so next to our cheap, house. So good. <laughs> like, just the best taco truck in Austin by far. Yeah. And it ended up closing maybe like three weeks Early, into. mid COVID. Yeah. We thought it was just a temporary thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it has yet to open, reopen. <laughs> so uh, we ventured out to new taco trucks. Yeah. And it's been tough yeah. on us though. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have to pass it every day going home. Mm -hmm. And every time we're like, are the lights on? Like, is it open? Is there anyone yeah, we can so ask? Callie Herrero, if you're watching this, please. Please open back know, up. Or email us. We will donate. <laughs> we will get you a. What's it called? A uh, GoFundMe. Seriously, they have the best tacos. And it was on Riverside, right in front of Club Carnival. We are on the hunt for a new taco truck place to call our home. I feel like I gave up hope that our taco truck is gonna open back up. We've tried Rosita's, eh. We've tried Pueblo Viejas, which yeah. is on the east side, which they're big tacos, but I feel like it was like too much, I don't know. And then we- Where do I don't know where we eat now. Yo, where it's do like, we eat now? Wait, No I, idea what it's called. Dang it, it's on, it's on Cesar Chavez. Oh my God, what the heck is it called? That's so weird. Okay, well- No idea what it's called. I'll it's place like the, the title. So far we have. Yeah, so we go there now, but it's still not up to par with where we used to go. So, comment down below if you guys are from Austin. We want like good tacos. The meat is seasoned really well. We like corn tortillas, so let us know comments down below. So since our last update, I actually got a job, which is nice to have a stable paycheck. And I got really lucky because it was literally weeks before everything shut down. And I was, you know, getting my income from all my freelance gigs, which was photography and videography. And that was all a no-go during like, you know, quarantine and stuff. So I got real, real lucky with that. And it's actually a remote position um, even before all of this COVID stuff happened. But now Ryan's working at home yeah. with me. <laughs> and she has the whole living room and our bedroom to herself. Yeah. And the desk. Yep. So all I have is a um, little bar stool <laughs> in the closet that I can oh, work with. <laughs> he works in the guest room and he now brought his like monitor home. So 
kind of more like, you know, permanent. <laughs> yeah, permanent, I guess. Honestly, I thought we would butt heads a lot more because we are, what? Very quick. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I was saying, um, I thought we would butt heads more during quarantine, but we haven't. So that's a good sign. So because of the rising numbers of COVID in Austin, they've closed back down all the parks. So all my golf courses really, are closed. Um, I was gonna say, I don't um, think they reopened like a lot of the parks, but. Well, they did for me, like the golf courses at least. But Is now, that a park? Yeah, it's a government owned uh, golf course. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And they closed down. And I kind of hate that yeah. because I liked when he left so I could like edit and do my own things, but now he just goes to the, what's it called, some net and comes back 20 <laughs> minutes later. And I'm like, ah, what, what? Like, can you go longer? Um, but then they closed down our favorite park with the skyline, so now you have to walk to it. Yeah, Vic Mathias. Yeah. Vic Mathias. Well, Vic Mathias. <laughs> that's what it's called. Actually. I think so. Sorry about the lighting changes. It's like a little funky out there. But yeah, they closed down like the parking lots, so people can't really access them as easily. And it just sucks because I want to be outdoors, you know? But like i get it again i understand the reasons why this is all happening but it just sucks i did want to say this one thing that i feel like austin is a really good transition city from when you're going like if you're just out of college like i feel like it's a really cool city to live in because it's a college city it's a college town it's a college town but it's also a city the biggest thing that people said when we were asking around like things about austin because we actually never visited before we moved here they always said it was like a really young city. There's so many young people there. And I was like, what? What does that even mean? I feel like you don't understand it until you like actually see for yourself um, that there is such like a young population because obviously it's a college town, but like even just post-grad people, you know? So that is our one year Austin update. Um, I feel like nothing, you know, big has changed just because obviously we were in been, quarantine. Yeah, and five of the six months. So yeah. I mean, you. <laughs> seriously, a lot of our months have just been taken away. But I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And um, I definitely want to do more updates. I want to do like my health journey. I feel like a lot of you have been asking about that. And also, link down below to my apartment tour. I know it's kind of messy right now, but I cleaned it that one day and filmed it really cool. So go check it out because um, I'm super happy with the way I decorated this place. Oh, and one other update is that we did resign on this place. So we're going to live here one more year. We don't know where we're going to live next year. I don't know. I feel like we're a little too young to buy a house, but also we want to. But also Austin's prices are too expensive and freaking astronomical. We're living in an almost 1,300 square foot apartment. It's two bed, two bath right now. Uh -huh. And to find For a house- 1,800. Yeah. To find a house that would equal that, it would be like a $500,000 house. Right but now, also probably. these houses are like built like very narrow and up, but they're like small rooms and the square footage is literally like less than this apartment. Yeah, we have to it's move crazy. like outside the city somewhere. Yeah, so I don't know. Updates to come on that. Not that it will be anytime soon, but Whenever I do have an update, I will definitely share with you guys. So we are actually going to go into Target. I have my mask somewhere here. Got a real one this time. <laughs> and I just have some beauty things to restock on. So I get to look in the makeup section in Target. The last time Ryan was like, don't look, don't look, don't look. And I was like, you're right. Probably not a good idea. But now I actually have a reason to. So, and then he's probably just going to look at boy clothes. I need some more deodorant and shampoo, I think. I need acetone because my nails just are gross and I don't have them. <laughs> it's been one minute of being in the beauty section and I just have an urge to spend money. <laughs> so I already got like a body scrub and I'm gonna look at skincare and makeup and I'll do a haul for y'all later. Kinda need some of those, honestly. Should I do it? I feel like I should. So I just noticed that Makeup Geek is actually at Target, which is crazy, because I used to buy from Makeup Geek. A lot of the colors I would even look at are out of stock, but that's pretty cool. They have so many new brands. So when I don't have dip on, this is literally my go-to nail polish. It's the Essie, um, let's see, where is it? Gel Couture line, and they have so many colors here at Target. I've never seen this many colors of it. So I think I'm gonna get another one because I love doing my nails with this nail polish. It literally lasts for like two weeks and 
it doesn't really have that many chips so and you don't need a uv light which is amazing we're on our way home and this is the sky right now it's like so pretty the sunset is behind us and i forgot to show you guys but this blue is so pretty really i guess i don't remember that yeah i guess i don't remember it raining but i don't really want it to rain i guess i should probably check the weather because i have a shoot tomorrow so i just put some food in the microwave to heat up but i wanted to do a target haul while i'm waiting so we're going to start off with the best product and the one that i've probably restocked the most these are the olay daily facial wipes and i highly recommend these because it forces you to like actually wash your face at night and then i needed some more like just cotton rounds um I gave in to a really expensive eyelash curler, but I've had mine for years, like since early college. So I decided to just invest in a new one because mine is just like really old and crappy. The next thing I have is pore strips. This is like just the off brand one because I'm a cheap girl sometimes, sometimes. With the eyelash curler, I guess it wasn't, but you know, splurge where it's important. Um, and then this is literally the main thing I needed was acetone. And another thing I needed was an eyebrow pencil, but I couldn't find the brand that I get. I usually get like LA Girl or something. And then for my nail polishes, I'm probably the most excited about these. This is, like I said, the Gel Couture line from Essie. I swear these stay on your nails for so long. Excuse like the little mohawk. I just did not have the patience to fix it. One is called Keep from, what? Oh, babe, I was about to say <laughs> the color is named Keep from Heat or Flame. <laughs> I feel so dumb. <laughs> okay, this color is Wool Me Over, and then this one is of Corset. So I have a little like pinky brown moment and a more brown moment. I love my browns. It was that time of the year to buy hair ties and stock up on them. And then actually the last thing I have, well, from, um, my little makeup beauty haul is this Epsom salt body scrub from Dr. Teal's. It's the um, eucalyptus and spearmint. I actually didn't smell this in the store, so. Oh shit. Ooh. It's very manly and smells really like spa like. So I'm excited to use that. I need to like exfoliate just all over my legs, I feel like. Um, so that will be really nice. And then. When I was back home, I tried Dave's Killer Bread for my mom. I don't think they have it at H-E-B or Walmart, which are the two places we usually go grocery shopping. So when I was at Target, I was like, I have to get it. Um, this is the Good Seed Organic Bread. And honestly, it just like made me feel a little bit healthier, like even though I ate it with um, butter when I was at home. So I thought that would be good for breakfast. And then we got this creamer. I actually showed it in my video today, but I was running low and when I say love, I meant like <laughs> there was this much left. But I was at the grocery store, so I was like, I feel like I need that. Also, very important, Ryan ate the whole thing last time, and I didn't even get a spoon. So I got myself some of this spread. This is literally just like cookie butter, but apparently better. So that is my Target haul, and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I feel like it's super long already. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have made it to the end of this video, comment your favorite TV show right now. Mine is Desperate Housewives. I feel like I've said that in a bunch of vlogs, but we are currently trying to get through it. We're on season five, and we're slowly trekking through, which like I don't want it to end, but like also... It's been forever. We started in quarantine. Um, but yeah, comment that down below and also turn on your notification bell for my videos. Um, I got a lot of input and feedback from the last vlog that I posted um, saying that I should, you know, encourage my subscribers to hit that bell because then they'll actually get notified instead of just banking on the subscription box. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to try to get to 25,000 subscribers before my birthday on November 25th and I feel like I can do it with y'all's help. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.